you doing the teeth thing? <laughs> Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Aaron the White Walker. Ruth. Guns in America and India. Stand up comedy by Saurabh Pant. Uh, Pant. Someone told me I said it correctly one of the times I said it. So if I just keep saying his last name, Pant, Pant, Paint, one of those is correct. <laughs> Thank you to Sarab for allowing us to react to this. There's an H in there, and people say I don't acknowledge the H. That's why I made the sound. Oh. So I don't know if I even did that right. It's an ongoing joke that I keep messing up all the things. So let's check this out. 2016, Donald Trump realized that America has Indians. <laughs> <laughs> because Indians, our population in any country, grows at a percentage rate of Fibonacci numbers. <laughs> I don't, I don't get the reference. So Donald Trump, to try and appeal to Indian uh, voters in the US, had a campaign, a video campaign, which went the following way. He's like, I'm Donald Trump, and I love India. I love India, I love Hindus. I love Hindus, and I love India. India and Hindus, I love India. I love India and Hindus. <laughs> Up bar, Trump Sarkar. He literally did that, and he pronounced it so bad. This is a, he That's has I'm so embarrassed. a chance to be Prime Minister of India in 2019. <laughs> because he also thinks that India is represented only by one religion. The two major things that they discuss in US politics during campaigns is only guns and abortion. That's it. A lot of people are opposed to abortions, but they're very pro-guns. Because what they want is for women to create more babies, so they have target practice. That's... <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so dark. No, but we are having I do love news, it. Right? In abortion, right? In abo abortion in India is legal. It's legal and there's very little opposition to it. It's, very, it's legal up to 21 weeks. Because we want to give women the rights to their bodies, as they should have. Right? Also, we have 1.28 billion people. <laughs> We are happy to provide you any exit strategy <laughs> at the end. Guns, guns, guns. It's easy to procure guns in the US. It takes apparently in certain places, in certain states in the US, it takes seven minutes. You can go in, into a mall in the US and buy a gun. You can't do that shit in India. You can't go to Phoenix Mills and buy a top from Zara. And then go buy some Piaz from Big Bazaar and then go buy a Bambuk. <laughs> I mean, if you do that, do it in reverse. Man, it's not 100% discount for But guns, guns are harder to procure in India. If you want to procure a gun legally in India, it's a long process. It's a long process. You have to get a character certificate. You have to get IT returns. You have to get address proof. It's a crazy amount of paperwork. The entire process takes months, sometimes years. Or you can just go to Guddu from Gurgaon. I don't understand. I know. He'll give it to you. He'll give it to you. He'll and if somebody is caught doing a gun crime, a gun crime in India, if somebody is caught doing a gun crime in India, we don't say shit like that, that person was probably mentally unstable. Right? <laughs> shit like that they use in the US. We basically, if somebody is, has done a crime, we basically say, hey, let law take its course. Let's law take its course. You did a violent crime, let law take its, take its course. And if you're convicted, we'll send you to the parliament. But <laughs> That's a very cliche joke. It's not. 34% of Indian parliamentarians have a criminal record. 21% of them for violent crimes. That can't happen in any other organization in India. <laughs> Welcome to Infosys. 34% of our employees have criminal records. Thanks to your new HR director, Guddu from Gurga. He's doing such a great job. obviously some jokes in there that went over our heads. Yeah. But I think I got 
the well, he, sentiment. He kind of explained it to us at the end, right? Yeah. You certainly got the sentiment as to what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was easier for us to kind of understand what he was talking about with American politics and whatnot. And he's right. One of the things I learned early on in my experience with uh, watching Indian cinema and talking to people from India is that we are so focused on our own bullshit and the rest of the world is very privy to what's going on over here. Like, yes. the rest of the world is like, not just learning about our politics, they know our history and they know their history. They know world history yes. in a way that we don't. And yes. we're just like, we, we barely understand our own US history. No, it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. But it really comes down to the way we're educated as like from the age of small children and the way right. like the language that is taught to us around our country, it's not right. No, it's not. It's horrible. It's, yeah, but the, the, the joke about like, <laughs> Making babies for target practice. Ugh. That was really dark. Super dark. It but it is something that a lot of people have been talking about in the wake of all of our... Mass shootings? Uh, mass shootings, yeah. If you're... I'm nervous about it. If you're anti-abortion, you don't... And you have, you have the... You're of the opinion that life starts in the womb, but you don't have an interest in protecting that life once it's like in the world. We don't want to like curve like the cell of guns in this country so we can maybe like maybe save children that are literally being shot down when they go to school. But God forbid like a woman who's not ready for a baby for many whatever reasons that are of her own business not bring a child into the world. You know what I mean? Right. That I, like he basically touches on it, but he just does it in a really dark way. Yes, I'm, what you're saying. What you're saying is there's a lot of truth to that because it's one of those things where we care so much about the baby, you know, coming all the way to uh, term. Term, mm -hmm. yeah. And but we don't give a shit after that. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> like, like, well, healthcare. I don't know. It's like, on you know. Gun control. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> minimum wage. Ah. It's it is it is a it's a very touchy subject. It is, and it's. It's rough, and but like, there was some study that came out that said this is going to take us down a weird, dark uh, path. But there was some study that came out that showed that when abortion was made legal, crime rates went down because there were not unwanted children being born into the world. Yes. To be honest, like whatever your like m sort of moral feelings are about it, I think that's one hundred percent. Like anyone can have their own opinions about like the morality right. of that and the choice that you would make. But for me, it just comes down to a safety reason because when we also had illegal abortions, we had a lot like of death around that right. because people will still seek that treatment out only now it's being performed in dirty like rooms by people who aren't qualified. There was a thing in Canada like that where they, I think in Canada, where they, they create these rooms where, not rooms, but places you can go to to get sterile needles for heroin. Yeah. And they kind of, they try to wean you off of it, but it's a place you can go and get high essentially, yeah. and but it's, exchange, it, but it's so much safer than just doing it with something off the street, yeah. you know? So yeah, I mean, we, I think we pulled a lot from that little joke he made. <laughs> <laughs> so. there, there, there was definitely some references here that were that were way over my head. I don't know anything about Indian politics, at least not enough to make an assessment as to what direction he was taking. Because I've learned a little bit, but I don't feel confident in expressing well, any what opinion. What I do think that maybe he was trying to do, which I think is clever, just from the standpoint of writing a joke, is the jokes. All the jokes started about being jokes on America, and then he like flipped the switch and led it up to a joke about their own right, their own politics, politics. and their own policies yeah, and whatnot. Which is funny and clever. Well, I guess it's it's all, it's saying that we've all got bullshit that we're dealing with. Exactly. I should have expected it was going to be very political, saying yeah, guns in America. Right, but for right. like, I saw one of his other videos the other day, and it made me laugh a lot. Like a, like it was constant laughs. So I was like, come on, make me laugh again. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit, you're like going real. He went real. He went like, real. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Whew, and just a really touchy warm. subject like, yeah. <laughs> for America. Like he literally talked on the two most touchy subjects yeah. in America. Yeah. Good. Yes. <laughs> it's interesting that guns and babies are the two most touchy no. subjects. Other than I guess race, but yeah. <laughs> I can't I I didn't hear that. You're allowed to talk about that. You're, you're, I am allowed to talk about that, but I'm scared of the internet. <laughs> As you should be. I'm always afraid. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank thanks, you guys. to Sarab for allowing us to react to this. I don't, I, I, it's, Sarab, it's probably Sarab, like a... Well, he says his name. He does where? The beginning? No, he said it in the middle. And some of you are like, Sarab, that's a very cliche joke. Sarab, mm -hmm. I've been saying it correct. There's no ah at the end of it. <laughs> well, maybe he's doing it so quick I can't hear, can't hear it. But thank you, Sir Rob, for allowing us to react to your video. Very, 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 very much appreciate it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please be sure to check out Aaron, the White Walker, on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Aaron Walker. Peace out.